Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. I got my hands on a pretty special collection here, I think you'll agree, and it's one I can never even remember the right way to say the name, so I'm going to say it wrong 67 times for this video. You guys can crucify me down in the comments below if you wish, but today we're going to take a look at Maybach Eyewear and just a small overview of some of the cool things they do and a few of the pieces in the collection. First of all, if you're new here, do me a favor and like and subscribe down below. It keeps the channel going and keeps me here because I have fun doing this and you know all that stuff makes the video show up. More, so, you know, <laughs> we enjoy it that way. Now, as far as what I actually want to talk about, I will drop it down with some nice videos and teasers in between. But this is a little bit of what we're going to go over today, and that is just the various pieces and collection and what they do a little bit differently than a lot of the other companies out there that maybe they do make the best stuff maybe they don't but as far as the price point they're honestly all over the map so we've got from the very basics and of course anything with the word my box in front of it is not all that basic to begin with yeah context matters right like their acetate frames this guy here you see you get some really nice detailing in the frames in terms of the logo set in it and in the front, but you know, it is still a plastic acetate frame. Those guys are gonna start around $700, and it kind of goes up from there. Honestly, in these pieces, the sky really is the limit. You can have specific diamonds set in the frames. They have different settings on them, like the artist, actually, this guy here, they have setting places and designs already in place to add diamonds to it. So as you can imagine, that starts getting up there quickly because they use only the top grade diamonds for these. So VVS1, as far as, see, I'm still learning all this stuff. So I'll, here we go, VS1 clarity and then F color grade. Now I don't know much about diamonds in particular. My friends in that field tell me that is really, really good. Yeah, I'll have to take their word for it. I don't have any of those pieces on hand for you to drill over, so my apologies. I get what I get sometimes, and that is not what I've got here to work with. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. We're still talking about, I think, the most expensive one I've got here, the limited edition piece they made in it is absolutely stunning. I will say, they call this... I forget the name of the model. I'm not getting into that, but white champagne and white chocolate for the materials on this one are their color names, which already sounds expensive and luxurious to be anywhere. Absolutely beautiful pieces. I don't want the beauty of these to be lost over the camera, so we'll save all that for the extra stuff in there. But the overall build on these is actually really nice. Now, I may or may not say it's the absolute best, but keep in mind the sample pieces I have are the ones that are abused, honestly. These guys are the ones the reps get to take around and show to different offices, and that's what I was sent to get my hands on and play with and get a feel for the collection. I'm considering it for here, but why not? You guys should be able to see this kind of cool stuff too, because this is not something you're going to find really in many stores out there at all, which obviously is why I'm looking at it. That's what I do. But it is kind of cool to experience these collections you would really never see anywhere. It's something maybe you didn't even know Maybach had an eyewear collection. This is actually done through the same family that does the car. So they do have some influence on these. One thing I really love that they do with these, if you're a gearhead and you're into this kind of thing, you'll recognize some of the details from the cars, kind of like we see in the Porsche design stuff, where they'll throw a cue in from their automotive designs, just a little subtle reminder here and there, or some of the pieces they'll use like leather from the same stuff that the cars are made out of. But overall, it's a design ethos more than it is throw to specifically the cars. And that design ethos in this case is something more exquisite, more exclusive. Again, something you're not gonna find everywhere. 
some more unique pieces, exotic materials, as I mentioned on the diamonds there, the top grade when they do use those. The gold they used is, yeah, exclusively solid 18 carats, 17 or 750%, whatever that means. That's not a percentage. I don't know what that is. And look, this jewelry is not my thing. Okay, we'll go with that. But they use top grade of wood, which is applicable. And let me tell you firsthand, in case I forget to put it here, their finish on wood hands down blew me away out of everything in this kit that I was sent. Buffalo horn is nice. The acetates are pretty. The titanium metals, you know, they're nice. They have good detail work. It's gorgeous. But that kind of stuff I've seen in other collections like Anna Karen Carlson or Prom Hearts, you know, some other very exquisite stuff I've worked with. But their finish on the wood is something I have truly not experienced before the absolute attention to detail and craftsmanship and you can probably see it in my eyes even in this video is really beautiful I and mean, it's something to admire it's an artistic just yeah i can't get over it even still looking at it i've had these in my hands for a few days now and that i keep coming back to is the way their wood is finished is incredibly lustrous and beautiful polish on it the lacquer and the depth to it is incredible. The one thing in particular, even on these logos, you don't feel that. And I don't know if you can make it out in the reflection, but there is not the slightest hint of that logo having been placed in there. It was grinded out and placed by hand. So that is no small feat to be able to pull off. Absolutely amazing. Now, would I be the glasses guy if I didn't grab one of these and put it on for you to see? No, no, I would not. And trust me, I have a very strong love for several of these pieces. This guy in particular is calling to me and not in this color because I'm not a black and silver kind of guy, but this comes in a beautiful ebony blue. Also comes in a piece blue, which is closer to my kind of signature blue color. Beautiful stuff. Now, the ebony wood, obviously, is going to be the thing that makes me absolutely glow over the way these are made. But that little piece of blue is what they call a piano grade lacquered finish. <laughs> I have not had my hands personally on that. I can't comment on that. But if the lacquer finish on the wood pieces is anything to go by, this one too is so you gain and you keep a lot of that depth and sheen to the wood, even. If their lacquer finishes are like that and truly the piano grade they take their namesake from, that's beautiful stuff. Now, I will say, overall fit and finish on the face, which is what matters, you're going to be wearing these. These are meant to be more of a style statement, so they might not always be the most comfortable. In the case of this one, it is. I really like the feel of these. But I will say, the other wood in the Alphama that keep flashing up here on the camera, to me, that one doesn't feel as good. And maybe it's just the shape of it, where it falls on the face. I'm not sure. And I'm not going to bend up on this model to try and figure it out. But it does hitch a little on the back of the ears on me. It is what it is. Now, the buffalo horn pieces, these I'm familiar with. I know how to adjust them. But they feel really nice. And that is something that's kind of noticeable with buffalo horn frames. So they're going to be lightweight. They're going to generally have a really nice finish to them. In particular, I love where the front comes into that. The tips, I'm not as hugely a fan of it. The seam there at the very back when you're taking them on and off, that can be kind of a pain in particular with longer hair. I don't have longer hair, but I can relate to that, okay? <laughs> now, speaking of the ophthalmics, we have this guy. I'm told this is one of their more commonly sold. And this one, it does use the titanium pads, which I particularly like because they have a nice cool feel to them. Overall build, finish, nice. You know, for me, this is, I don't want to say boring. Boring is not quite the right word for this frame. And I think if anybody uses boring in the same sentence as these, we need to reevaluate some things. But it's very classic and timeless. And 
that's just not me. I don't really do the classic and timeless, but it is still a beautiful piece. I can really appreciate the design and craftsmanship that goes into something like this. Now, as I mentioned on the price point, you know, they're all over the map from the basic 700s on up to wherever, literally the sky's the limit. I believe in speaking with the person that distributes these for the U.S., I think, you know, for memory, it's tough because there were so many little bits of information to put together and get from this collection. I think it was around 55 or 56,000 was the most expensive they had commissioned to date. So there's that end of it. As far as everything you've seen today, most of the rimless guys, some of the other pieces I've tried on, they're going to be on average around $2,300 or so. Certainly not cheap, but you are getting that premier name, and you definitely pay for that premier name and exclusivity. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, this collection is definitely screaming your name. You know, I, I know it is definitely on the more expensive side of things, but when it comes down to something exclusive, that's pretty much always going to be the case. Now, would I spend that much on one of these? That is the question I have been asking myself for the past three days. So I guess we will have to wait and see what I decide on that answer. As for that, I will catch you guys next time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've taken at least something away about these really cool frames. Whatever that something here is, that's up to you. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below if you hated it. Well, you know, I like that feedback too. And that's part of the game. I listen to you. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I'll catch you guys next time.